Hi everybody, welcome to Sunya IS and welcome back to the environment high yielding topics for prelims 2023. Okay, we are now going to continue for species 2. I hope you've already seen species 1 and in general there is a good playlist of all the environment high yielding topics. Go back and watch them in case you want to revise, right? Now in species 1 we had already covered invasive species, now we are going to roughly cater to aquatic species and in this we are going to cover the important reptiles, amphibians etc which have been in the news. Okay, so I start the first uh, and what are the contents here, we will start with dugong, we will see sea cucumber why that has been in the news, seahorse, turtle, crocodiles, gangetic river dolphins and in the last is vaqueta porpoise. Okay, so ones which have been in the news one by one we will see. So dugong Already UPSC has asked one question on this, again we will see why this is in the news. Number one, this is known as sea cow, okay. Second, because this is a marine herbivore, okay. So that is the static part of it that you should know. Apart from that, why was dugong in general in news? It was in the news because India's first dugong conservation reserve, okay. This conservation river reserve has come up in Gulf of Mannar. Okay, that is in Tamil Nadu. So, number one, you need to know the location and what is the update. I am saying conservation reserves. Now, if you have seen the lecture on Wildlife Protection Act, you would know conservation reserves and community reserves are protected areas designated under Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. So, even this is one thing you need to know, right? So, this is sea cow, otherwise known as dugong. Okay, the first conservation reserve is going to come up in Gulf of Mannar. Okay, so that is all you need to know about sea cow, right? And in general, it also, first of all, it's a marine herbivore and it's also a mammal, right? And it has a long gestation period overall, right? So these are things you need to know about dugong. Moving forward, now we're talking of sea cucumber. So what is a sea cucumber? Number one. It is a marine detritivore or you can say it is a detritus feeding invertebrate. Okay. So first of all, these are invertebrates. Second, a question can be asked whether they are formed on, let's say this is the ocean ecosystem, whether they are found in the bottom or at the top. So yes, this, these are found at the bottom. Okay. So these are bottom dwelling, number one. Okay. Second, these are very helpful for benthic organisms. Okay, what are benthic organisms? You must have seen that in lake ecology. Benthic organisms are the bottom dwelling organisms which are found in the bottom. And these sea cucumber re releases some nutrients, okay, and important compounds which are utilized for nutrition of benthic organisms. So that is why you need to know them. Okay, now why sea cucumbers were in use? Because the world's first sea cucumber conservation area. So I'm saying world's first sea cucumber conservation area is going to come up. Okay. And that's going to come up in Lakshwadeep. Okay. World's first sea cucumber conservation area is going to come up in Lakshwadeep. So current affairs part is this. Static part is they're found in the bottom. They are helpful for pro providing nutrition to benthic organisms. And lastly, these are basically marine or detritus feeding invertebrates sea cucumber okay next the great seahorse migration was in the news okay so what are seahorse where is the migration going to happen so these are things you need to know again the name is a misnomer here okay seahorse number one is not a horse was it what is it it is a fish so that is one thing you need to, you need to know okay so there is this migration of this seahorse which is going to happen okay and from Coromandel coast this is starting and there is a migrating towards Odisha so locations of Coromandel coast Odisha you are already aware so number one this migration is going to take place of seahorse seahorse is basically a fish and one very unique thing <coughs> about the seahorse is that the males give birth here okay so this is very unique about seahorses. These are, these are the fish here. The males are actually giving birth and the seahorse migration was in the news. So because of that, these are also some important species that you need to know. 
okay again turtles in general are often in the news i'll just quickly cover turtles for you so number 1 we find five species of turtles in indian waters now most of you have read let's say olive ridley turtles but apart from that also you'll find other olive ridley number one you already have you have green turtle you have logger head turtle you have hawk's bill turtle and leather back turtle in this slide only i'll just tell you the important details about turtles olive ridley i have a separate slide for it just wait maybe one minute we'll see that then you have green turtle logger head in hawk's bill turtle all you need to know this is critically endangered as per iucn okay so out of these five the only critically endangered is hawk's bill turtle okay now what's special about leatherbacks first of all these this is the largest and perhaps the heaviest okay second it feeds a lot on jellyfish so whenever you will see the increase in population of leatherback turtles that will lead to decrease in the population of jellyfish okay so first of all that is one thing apart from that we also have a nari uh, sorry marine turtle action plan in general for saving these turtle species okay right this was hawksbill turtle i told you this is critically endangered right now let us see olive ridley because generally it is in the news okay why is this in the news this time because tamil nadu is going to set up an international olive ridley turtle protection and rehabilitation center in chennai okay so tamil nadu is doing this for olive ridley and you already had discussion on number 1 we had discussed dugong conservation reserve that is also going to be coming up in gulf of mannar okay that is one so now for here you need to know number 1 you see this gahir matha so there is a gahir gahir matha beach second rushi kulia river okay these are important nesting grounds number 1 for olive ridley turtles second these olive ridley turtles uh, like undergo a phenomena of mass egg nesting that is known as aribada okay this aribada the mass uh, uh, like egg hatching of these turtles it is happening at the gahir mata beach that is something very important okay apart from that a lot of articles come related to teds teds are the turtle exclusion devices so sometimes what happens when the fishing is going to happen okay in the fishing a lot of times these turtles they also get captured and after some time they also get killed because they get entangled so a lot of state governments request that these fi this fishing nets should come with turtle exclusion devices okay so that is also why olive ridley turtles are in the news and the last thing is this operation olivia okay this is being carried out by indian coast guard now there are two things you need to know two operations i'll tell you one is operation olivia and the second operation is save kurma save kurma is also for these turtle population save saving them this is by wildlife crime control bureau wccb save kurma is by wildlife crime control bureau and operation olivia is by indian coast guard okay so please make sure you know both of them there's a difference between both of them right fine so five species of turtle hawks bill is the critically endangered one right apart from that we've seen things about uh, leatherback it, it eats a lot of jellyfish very heavy olive ridley we've seen operation olivia save kurma tamil nadu is going to be setting up this uh, turtle protection like uh, area okay gahir mata beach rushi kulia river okay now there are two more updates that that i want to share with you okay and these are two more turtle species one is red crowned roof turtle number 1 and second second is this lath uh, soft shell turtle okay two turtle related updates that i want to share with you okay now again before sharing with you i'll tell you the context what has happened we have read about sites convention related to which is preventing the trade of endangered species right now this includes both animals and plants okay we've seen and it has different appendix appendix 1 having the highest degree of protection 2 and 3 right so the recent conference of parties cop 19 happened of sites okay in that a lot of development happened okay one of the development by the way was related to sea cucumber which is why i also covered it so sea cucumber has been uh, like there was a lot of request to cover cover sea cucumber in the appendix okay so number 1 you can just write that down is sea cucumber okay second is shisham shisham i'll tell you separately when i discuss red sanders and other let's say plant species as that is a separate topic that i'll do later on 
so total five updates that you should know one is this red crown roof turtle that will be fourth then this lathe soft uh, soft shell turtle that will be uh, this one and the last will be jaipur gecko gecko is basically a lizard okay so in cop 19 a lot of de developments have happened one this sea cucumber related update has been happened shisham etc has also been in included now what has happened both red crown roof turtle and also this lathe soft shell turtle have been incorporated okay they have been incorporated into the appendix of sites okay so basically what has happened by the way we see these both of them i have mentioned cr cr means critically endangered this is also critically endangered this is also critically endangered okay so that is one thing you need to know and what has happened they were initially present in appendix 2 of sites they have now both of them moved to appendix 1 okay so red crown roof turtle and lathe soft shell turtle this has been the basic update right by the way this cop 19 happened in panama so in many cases you will see world panama summit etc that is related to cop 19 of sites so that is one thing you need to know this is critically endangered when i'm talking about red crown roof turtle right apart from that what you can write in your notes here this is a fresh water turtle species okay i'll just remove this because i want to add one or two things here okay so this is this fresh water species okay apart from that you have this national chambal sanctuary okay so this is the only major area where this is found in decent population All, already this is critically endangered so this is majorly found in this national chambal sanctuary this is a fresh water species of turtle this is known as red crown roof turtle okay that is one thing you need to know apart from that you have this lathe soft shell turtle in this all you need to know number 1 it is found in parts of tamil nadu it is found in parts of karnataka etc kerala right and this is one of the largest species of fresh water turtles okay but the name i think is enough for you you know the both are critically endangered they moved from uh, appendix 1 so appendix 2 to appendix 1 which means they need more protection okay so that is something we need to know and additionally for this lathe soft shell turtle one of the issue is that why is it uh, the population is reducing and secondly why the trade is increasing because this is used in chinese traditional medicine because of its use in chinese tra traditional medicine it is becoming a problem all right that is one now for crocodile what you need to know number 1 the only district or perhaps the only state in india to have all the three varieties of crocodile which includes ghadial which includes magar and which also includes this salt water crocodiles i'll just write down salt here so that is odisha and if you want to be more specific the name of the district is kendra para district okay so number one that is something you need to know second what you need to know a lot of this of when i'm talking of salt water crocodiles so they had laid nets etc in the bitter kanika national park okay these are salt water crocodiles laying their eggs in bitter kanika national park okay this is in odisha's kendra para district odisha's kendra para district has a unique distinction of having all the three varieties of crocodile that is one thing you need to know okay now additionally what you need to know about salt water crocodiles is that salt water crocodiles is largest of all crocodiles okay and these are the largest reptiles of the world right and second the female salt water crocodiles are smaller in size two things you need to know fine additionally ghadial i'll tell you ghadial is critically endangered and predominantly found in chambal rivers again recapping what we have done so far crocodiles three species ghadial magar salt water crocodile ghadial is critically endangered okay found in chambal river right salt water cro crocodiles we had seen a lot of them in bhitrakanika national park this year in odisha kendrapara district in odisha kendrapara district you will find all of them all the varieties okay and these salt water crocodiles these are largest okay of all crocodiles these are the largest reptiles and the females are smaller in size than the males okay next we move to this is gangetic river dolphin first of all static part this is the national aquatic animal of india number 1 second these are essentially blind okay so they use echolocation 
so these are blind they use eco location basically these are also alternatively known by the name susu okay okay these are basically vulnerable okay when i'm talking of these dolphins fine now apart from this what you need to know here in case of uh, this is that you have dolphin conservation area that is in vikramshila bihar okay so that is also something you need to know that there is this uh, particular area for the conservation that this is coming up in vikramshila bihar okay that is also one thing you need to know and apart from this they have started to coming back to ganga river basically update was on namami gange program so here a lot of them actually made news okay so that is one thing you need to be aware about when we talk about uh, this part right ganjetic river dolphin okay i think you need to just make a small change here all right uh, this is actually not this is will be endangered the status okay the status of uh, ganges river dolphin will be endangered right so make sure you just make that small change okay because i should have ideally written that in the slide okay again recapping gangetic river dolphin is the national aquatic animal of india they are essentially blind principle which they use that is eco location right vikram shila conservation this area is in bihar which is helping to conserve the population of this okay and lastly we have seen some of them which are coming back to river ganga under the namami gange program all right then this purple frog was in the news now N not much is there to talk about it okay what is there all you need to know is this kerala is likely to announce this as the state frog okay we have already seen maharashtra announcing blue mormon as its state butterfly okay we have seen maharashtra talking and announcing about white chippy or sonarshi alba as its state mangrove tree similarly in the same manner you have this purple frog which is being uh, which is likely to be announced by kerala now in the previous lecture we have seen a lot of updates on kerala with respect to invasive species so tell me in the comment section how many invasive species i told you related to kerala in the last lecture okay so maybe that is something that you need to also be aware about right so that is one okay and then the last which thing we have to discuss here is this vaquita porpoise so this is mentioned in red this is critically endangered okay so first of all there have been some articles so this is a down to earth article which i have just linked so there is a 98% decline in the last 20 years and now the population is less than 10 only 10 species are left the of this porpoise okay number 1 fine so there has been a lot of decline in population that is why this is in the news what is it this is world's smallest cetacean number 1 and most endangered marine mammal okay we have heard about pangolins being one of the most trafficked mammal now when i talk of endangered marine mammal this is most endangered marine mammal we are talking of vaquita porpoise okay now this is often find to in the gulf or in the shallow waters fine and lastly these are known as panda of the sea why are they known as panda of the sea because they have some distinct black circles around its eyes which you would have normally seen in case of panda okay that these have some black circles around the eyes hence they are known as panda of the sea so this can be a very probable question number one most of you may would not even know what they are okay and why are they in news so one this critically endangered only 10 pop like numbers left okay huge decline in population we have seen right we have seen with respect to them right and last part is that they are known as panda of the sea fine most endangered marine all right so i'll just quickly have a recap of what we have done so far in this particular part we started the lecture with dugong then we went to sea cucumber right and whenever i say is each time just try to think of the area which i said okay maybe just after the lecture also try to recall that will this will be very helpful then i discussed about sea horse we saw the five species of turtle right we also saw cop 19 sites red crown roof turtle and we also saw leth soft uh, shell turtle right then we saw crocodile related developments we saw gangetic river dolphin make sure you have written endangered now okay then we saw purple frog and then we saw vaquita porpoise right with this we come to the end of part 2 again prelims crash course for environment and other subjects is ongoing in case you want to make sure you want to do that go through these lectures 
and all these notes will be provided. This is a very comprehensive source to cover prelims in a short span, right? Right. Now I'll meet you in the part three of species, and we'll try to wrap up all the important developments related to species. Right. Hope these lectures are uh, like you are finding use. If there is any other topic which is left which I have already not covered, you are feel you feel free to drop down a comment. I'll try to make uh, accommodate your request. All right. With that said, thank you so much. I'll meet you soon.